Hello, Fireblade here. This video will help you understand Minecraft texture packs and MC Patcher a little bit better. To download normal texture packs, go to Minecraft Planet Minecraft .com. You see a button called Textures, or if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see some texture packs. You click the texture pack button, scroll down, you see texture pack 60 by 16 resolution. You see how many people download it, views or download it. If they like it. 25% of the people like this. Now, for higher resolutions such as 32, 64, and more, we'll need MC Patch for that. For the demonstration of this video, we'll be using Ender's Adventure Pack, which is 32 by 32. You can click Download Texture Pack, and at the bottom left, if you're using Google Chrome, Ender's Adventure Pack. I'm going to load up Minecraft and go to your Mods and Texture Pack folder. Open the texture folder, go back to Google Chrome, and you can right click this and click show in folder. Or if you're using other things, you can save as, save it to your desktop, and then load up both your windows. For uh, me, I'm using Windows XT. Just drag and drop into your folder. Ender's Adventure Pack is in Texture Pack. Now you can close that window and you can go back to Minecraft. This should automatically update. You can click it and then launch it up and then go in. But since I'm using a 32 by 32, you'll need to download MC Patcher. To do that, go to google.com and this is the simplest way and go to just Google up MC Patrick. It should be the very first. If you need more information, type in Minecraft. This is MC Patcher. Provides help and support for higher quality texture packs. Go down until you see the video tutorial about the mods, and under here you should see the download section. You can download from GitHub for Windows platforms or other platforms. I'm using Windows, so I'll be downloading from GitHub. If you see this can type on your computer, don't worry. You can download that straight to your desktop. So drag it right to your desktop. Now you have your MC Patcher tutorial. And you double click it to launch it up. And in here, you may not have the exact things that I have. You will have HD font, HD textures, random mobs, and better grass. HD textures and HD font is what you'd be looking for. Better grass supplies grass texture, the top of the grass texture on the sides if there's another grass block adjacent to it on the bottom. Random mobs will apply random textures to the monsters, such as you can have multiple zombie skins only if the texture pack supports it. For the demonstration of this video, We'll be using HD textures and HD font. So uncheck everything else and check HD font and HD textures. Make sure your input file would be going to your your input. This is a 1.9 pre-release 4. This should work even without the pre-release or with updates to come. Click on the patch button. It should automatically patch Minecraft.jar. Now, my Minecraft.jar is already running and it's already updated but you can run it go to mods and texture pack go back to your ender adventure pack click it, it might take a while the bigger the texture the longer you probably have to wait and immediately you will notice that the buttons have changed it's good let's join a server or single player and this is a, a world that was brought to me that I've downloaded. This would be, I believe, Netherrack, Netherbrick. I mean, and there we go. If you if you notice anything wrong with a Netherbrick, anything like um, Nether bricks, if you see fire portals inside of any brick, you might need to reinstall MC Patcher. Not reinstall, but repatch it. 
Thank you for watching.